They are all over the world. Wherever you look, you are bound to see these mysterious, beautiful, yet kind of weird organisms. Lichens, also known as the blue stuff you see growing on trees. A lichen is a relationship between an algae or cyanobacteria and a fungi. It's kind of like marriage, called a symbiotic relationship. Actually, it's really not like marriage. It's more like the fungi kidnaps the algae or cyanobacteria, forces them to grow into each other, then scabs off the nutrients that the algae is creating. <laughs> Lichen come in three forms. There's the flat crusty form that's fully stuck to the substrate, called Kustos lichen. There's the relatively flat but fluffy sort, called Folios lichens. And then there is the type that has long arms and comes in all different shapes and sizes, called Fruticose lichen. So this is the structure of the lichen, and as you can see, the structure of the Kustos and Folios lichens is pretty similar. It starts with a cortex, which is tightly woven hyphae. Next down are the cells belonging to the algae or cyanobacteria, also known as the photobiont cells. Next is the medulla, where the fungi stores all the nutrients that it scabs off the photobiont cells. And then finally the rhizomes, which connect it to the substrate. On the fruticose, it's pretty much the same, except that it revolves inwards, with the deepest layer being the medulla. Lichen well, reproduce in many different ways, but the most common of these is probably vegetative. Vegetative reproduction is where a small part of the thallus, or body of the lichen, breaks off and starts to grow on its own, like a garden cutting. These cuttings can be in the form of powder or small little outgrowths and can be carried away by the wind, animal fur, even water. If you look out for lichen, you'll find that they not only grow all over the world, but in thousands of different microhabitats too. Some lichen grow on many different microhabitats, while others can be fussy. As you can see here, this lichen is growing over here, while this lichen is growing just opposite, but not in the same spot. This can be because of many different reasons, light, acidity, pollution, you name it. Lichen play an important role in the environment that they grow in. The most important of their roles is probably that they fix nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up about 80% of the Earth's atmosphere, and though it is essential to life, most organisms can't use it directly. The cyanobacteria in lichen fixes the nitrogen, meaning other organisms can use it. This isn't all they do though. They grow over soil to prevent erosion. They help decompose dying plant life. They catch moisture for animals to drink from. Even humans have used them for centuries for things like dyes. Marmot hunters use yellow lichen to find marmot holes. <coughs> lichen was eaten as a delicacy in Japan. In Europe, lichen was used to make brandy. In Norway, villagers used the lichen to kill wolves. In perfumes, the power or smell of lichen is even still used today. <laughs> <laughs>